Hi guys, so this is the May Scroller box. I'm a little bit behind, so let's get started. Ugh. Oh, hang on, it's still stuck down. Give me a minute. <laughs> the challenge this time. Please excuse my thumb, I cut it earlier. <laughs> right scroller box, so I'm assuming it's a font challenge. So I'll have a look at this in a minute, that's the list of all the products in here. But first let's just go through them all separately. Here's the sticker. Oh and there's sweets in here as well. Refreshes. Nice. Cut that in a minute. Oh. Firstly this is what comes with it. So the featured artist for this one is Stephen Bradbury. Uh, okay, so we've got, if I can pick them up, some hand lettering guides. Okay, one, just two. Two sheets of that, so that's pretty cool. Right, let's just start. A Sharpie. This is a low odor ink chisel point whiteboard marker. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Chisel point. Very cool. So that's one. Next up is the Lyra Aqua Brush Duo. Okay. Okay, oh, that's nice. So there's a brush nib on one end. And I'm assuming by the picture that this one is a bullet nib. Cool, that'll be good fun. And there's one in red as well. So I've got red and orange. So that's pretty cool. Next up is a, an aqua brush. Uh, well, just a, it's called a brush H2O. So what you do with these is you fill them with water. This one is a large tip. Let me get that in focus. I'm just going to open that up. Next up is some watercolours, a watercolour duo. So it looks like gold and silver to me, either, or it's just grey and umber, I guess, I don't know, but I'm assuming it's going to be gold and silver. Um, it doesn't actually say on the back. I'm going to see if I look closely, but I'll have a look in a minute. And the next one is a brush pen. It looks like it might be in black, so that's pretty cool. It's a water-based one, so I'm pretty excited about that. Nylon brush tip. So it's white at the moment, but once the ink starts flowing through, that will actually turn black. So I need to get this um, prepped before I start using it, otherwise it's going to take me ages. And last up we've got this pink thing. <laughs> uh, it says touch on it and there's some, I think I'm assuming Japanese writing. I'm just going to look at this to see what that is. It is the Pentel Touch Brush Sign Pen. Okay. I don't know, it's just got a brush tip. And it's water based. So, oh, okay, it's quite small. So, that's pretty cool. So, I've got some quite nice colours. It's going to be fairly um, bright, this one, I think. Uh, and that's it. So, let's go. So I'm pretty happy with this month's supplies. I really, really, really loved the uh, the black um, pen, 
not so much the Sharpie one because that's just a whiteboard marker and I'll go into why I didn't really like that a bit later but the pink pen I really really love that color is so amazing and the red and orange ones I'm really looking forward to using those again they had a really nice um, feel to them I didn't actually try the bullet inside but the brush pen side was really nice and so for this challenge I kind of failed a little bit I didn't really do any hand lettering or anything I just sort of did some basic <laughs> basic text which you can see I really squished into that speech bubble uh, which always happens if you don't plan your text out properly um, yeah so I just was playing around really with this um, I used the whiteboard marker to do the speech bubble and the starry bit around the side and as you can see compared to the um, the text the black isn't as black and that's what I really didn't like about it I mean I don't know I'm just I'm just not happy with that whiteboard marker it's just I don't know I'll use it as a whiteboard marker if I ever need to um, now I'm not sure I should have used that orange pen to cover in such a large area but it just it was really nice it flowed really well and it felt really good and yeah I really liked it uh, I didn't really use the watercolor um, palettes very much I didn't use the gold at all on this one but the silver it was it was nice I used it really dry so that the pigment would, um, would be really opaque and it's got a very slight metallic shimmer to it so yeah it's quite nice I'm looking forward to using that one in the future and as you can see here I'm just going over the whiteboard marker again because it's just not black enough uh, so yeah this is my design for this month I hope you like it um, it's just something quick and easy and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching Bye.